Then the architecture has two different ways of describing walls, because of the nature of the materials that make up the walls and the construction of them. Single walls is the first type of way of describing the walls. That's more like a concrete block wall or a partition wall, whereas composite walls are more like the cavity masonry unit, cavity wall type of construction. This session, we're going to look at single walls. And we're going to look at the dialog box, what it does and what it means when you design. When we click on the single walls, we get a dialog called place wall. The first thing you'll probably notice is the preview window there, which has an outline of the run of wall, along with a red line and an arrow. The straight run of wall indicates you're looking at a linear wall, and the arrow and the line indicate just where your placement point are. In this case, on the right-hand side of the wall. I can change that, and you'll notice that in the preview window, it updates itself dynamically. Not only can I do that before I place the wall, but I can actually do that during wall placement. You can see that AccuDraw is helping me with that by giving me a guiding line to tell me where the placement point is. That's one type of single wall that Bentley Architecture can help you with. The other type is in a jump box are contained within a jump box below the preview. We've just looked at linear we have the ability to do true arcs as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm using AccuDraw to help me describe the first place point of where the wall would begin and the center of the arc. You can see that I'm able to control that and the arc is a true arc. The third type of wall type we have in our place wall armory is curved wall. And again, what this literally means is that I can either freehand or describe from either a reference file or freehand sketching a curved section of wall. And you'll see that the preview in both the linear arc and curved have updated themselves to showing us just what we are placing. What about some of the other options? Well, let's start from the top right and move our way down. In the top options here, we have the ability to have a fixed height. That is, by part and by family, or some or a value that we have specified down here. We have the ability to connect shapes. So if we have two walls that are not the same height, we want to place a wall between them or connecting them, this will help us do it. As well as three points and two points per view. You can see also here that when we do this, we can actually have the ability to delete the construction underneath it, i.e. perhaps just a line. And at the same time, if it's at a roof edge, we can put in a roof tolerance. Underneath this are placement options. Placement options, as we've seen before, consist of not only where we want to place the, the run of wall and how we want to place it, but we can also, if we just jump back to linear here, we can also take control of other aspects such as closing the wall. And I'll just do a very quick description here. You can see that as I'm describing this wall, you'll see that it will complete itself and mitre the various components of that wall together. We also have the ability to auto connect and we can either use those in tandem or singly. When we use Auto Connect by itself, we can simply describe points onto any other wall, and when that when we have finished, they will use a, a butt joint system to place themselves against the other constructions. The other aspect we have under placement options is base offset. This is the base offset from the, from the Z value upwards. So in other words, if we want to place a wall 
but it has to be a minimum of a thousand millimeters off the ground, we can actually come into here and specify a thousand millimeters. And come down here. I'm going to use AccuDraw. What I've done is I've described the wall downwards, and then as I have done, I've pressed Enter to lock it in. I've then gone through to the last vertex or the starting vertex of my first wall and said, you know, I want it to lock to here. And this dashed line will be sent across so that I can just click here now. And Bentley Architecture will make all the necessary joints possible so everything is even. So with doing that, I've described my four walls. Let's open up one of the Bentley Architecture's other eight independent views and let's get a better idea of what we're looking at. Let's look at our isometric view. And there we have our current structure. And you can see, by the way, I've rendered this, and these rendering parts can be affixed to and joined to the, the database that you're using behind the scenes so that your visualization, your animation be can become a byproduct of what you're designing. In fact, you can design in rendered view. For instance, I can come in here and I can come into my with the necessary materials that are making up this wall, as well as putting in precision coordinates for it. So we've seen that. So let's just delete some of these, for instance, so we can get a really clear view of what we're going to go through now. So we need to have a base offset. We're going to take a base offset of 1,000 millimeters. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the 3D view here because I think the isometric view, because I think this will illustrate it very well. Now what I'm going to do here, I've got a base offset of 1,000 millimeters. I'm going to describe my wall. I've immediately raised my wall, the starting point of my wall, by 1,000 millimeters, by one meter. And when I accept that, you'll see that it has described it as thus. So I have a base offset from this wall of a thousand millimeters. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rotate this view around a bit so we get a very clear idea of what's going to happen. I'm going to come to here and say OK. And I'm going to describe this wall here. I'm going to make it a run. Let's make it a run of uh, 3,500, 3,500 millimeters and click OK. And as soon as I reset the tool, you'll see that it's rendered the part and it has raised it up. It's offset the part by 1000 millimeters. And that can be any value you want and it can be changed on the fly. The last aspect of our place wall dialog box consists of our family part recall. This allows us, as we mentioned earlier, it allows us to quickly as our project progresses to recall any of the constructions we have used in the past, instead of perhaps going and searching through the level and the layer of the reference or the parts and the family or any part of the database to find it, it's already there. Bentley Architecture keeps a running total of all the walls that we have used in this case. So I can simply click on here and switch down to general internal walls. The family part recall also includes the ability to specify by checking these radio buttons, you can specify your own particular height and thickness of this wall if the standard part and family is not the one required. You can see here, there are a number of different options available to us. Height of 50 millimeters, 1500, 21, up to 3000. And our thicknesses go from 100, 315, 340, industry standard thicknesses. 